Here we go, mountaineering school. We spent the day at the Olympic Jump Center learning how to use crampons and self-arrest. And now we're at the Adirondack Lodge hanging out for the night and relaxing before we head out to the woods. We got this moose. frozen over. <clears throat> I'll set up a camp. We'll give you the quick lay of the land. So we've got a tiered approach because we couldn't find a camping site, so we're kind of bushwhacking off in the, the woods. So up at the top level, we got Mike and Eric with their nice orange tent here. They're excited, they got their snow stakes going. We'll, uh, we'll head down the hill a little bit here. The sleds are, are still out. So we got Aaron and Amy, our guides for the weekend. Oh, uh, not guides, instructors. Instructors, not guides. They're setting up over here, and Amy brought the most important thing. We got some gummy bears hidden in here with her crampons. And Swedish fish. And Swedish fish. And then we'll come all the way down here. We're gonna work on building our kitchen in here shortly. And then over here, we're set up. Got a little area we packed down where a tree pulled out. The jacuzzi is gonna be? Uh, the jacuzzi, I think we should go by the water source of the jacuzzi. Yeah. yeah. You agree? Yes. Yeah. And here's the inside. So that's it. This is base camp for the next three days or so. Talk to you soon. Aaron's showing us how to, we're getting water, we're cracking a hole through the surface of the ice so that we can bring a bucket of water back and treat it for dinner. Is this gonna freeze over, you think? It'll freeze over and look like that, and you just gotta... Getting some water. No pressure, Rob. No pressure. Good technique. Nice, right, no ice. Into the bucket. Clean transfer.
camp after our hike. It's been snowing. Pretty, pretty much everything's getting covered. So we're gonna clean off a little bit and get ready for dinner. Hey, uh... A pretty rough night. We were coming down from the peak we were at and Robert hurt himself a little bit sliding down an ice face. So we, we made it back to camp a little bit before dark and made dinner, taking a look at his knee. We're probably gonna pack up early and head out a day early that way. Morning, we got up uh, probably five to six inches of snow last night so everything was layered down. We're starting to clean up and make some breakfast. So you can see we got a lot of cover our um, our tarp was down on the ground. Everything was sagging when we woke up. How much snow do you guys think we got? Three or four, I think. Maybe it's heavy. Bit. Amy? Um, more, you think? I'd say probably closer to five. <coughs> Over the course of the day, maybe five or six. Yeah. But the first inch or so didn't really stick. So we're doing some, some hot breakfast over here. It's our nice kitchen. Everything was buried. We're digging out a little bit. Oh, there's your cup. I got some scrambled eggs and bacon going in here. Mmm, mmm, good Whoever stuff. With the polenta, I'll have to try we're uh, almost all packed up. We're getting the last set of gear situated in the sleds, and then we're gonna start heading out. You wanna take a picture of my knee? Distributing weight. <laughs> you wanna tell us a little about a little hurts. bit about what happened and where what, what's going my on? Knee hurts. <laughs> Your knee hurts. We we were going down some double black diamonds, right? It got real gnarly. 